How to change your EOS keys using Graymass Wallet. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to cover one of the most requested topics on the channel, changing your EOS keys. This video will cover how to do so using Graymass Wallet. In upcoming videos I will show you how to do it using Scatter as well as Squirrel Wallet. Now before we get into it there are a couple of important disclaimers. First, you are going to want to save your old keys for possible future chains. So the keys that you are changing or your Genesis keys, you are going to want to save those for possible future chains that will use either the Genesis block snapshot or an EOS snapshot from a date that has already happened. For these new chains, you will only be able to claim your tokens with the keys as they were on the day of the snapshot. So if a new EOS chain comes out using the EOS Genesis block, you will need your EOS account keys from the day of the Genesis block. And secondly, this should be obvious, but if you do not control the private key, you lose control of the account. So we are changing keys here. If you do not have the private key to the corresponding public key you are changing your account to, you will lose control of the account. So for me, I like to change one key at a time, not changing the active and owner at the same time. I like to do one at a time, make sure it works, everything went fine before changing the other key. All right, so let's get into it here. Here I am in my gray mass EOS voter wallet. And in order to change the keys, we are gonna to need to come over to the tools section. So click on tools up at the top. And firstly, we need to generate a new key. So come down under the Utilities section, click Key Generator, and then click Generate Key. If you're changing one key, click it once. If you're changing two, two keys, you can click it again, but we're just going to use one key for this example. I'm going to copy this to Clipboard and just paste it in this notepad for now. And now is the time to save your keys. Write them down offline before you even change them so you know you have the private key for the corresponding public key written down. The public key always starts with EOS and then your private key is right here next to it. Never show your private key to anybody. I won't actually be using these keys so it is okay for you to see them. So after you have yourself a new key pair that is already saved, already written down, offline, however you store them. Now's the time to do it. Store those keys. We can come back into the Gray Mass EOS Voter Wallet. And under the Wallet Tools section, click on Permissions. And here, under the Account Permissions, is where we will change our keys. On this page, you can see my current active permission so my current active key and my current owner permission, my current owner key. So in order to change one or the other, you just click on the corresponding modify button next to it. Now you will only be able to change the owner key if you are currently logged into the at owner, if you currently have the owner key attached to the account you're using. So there's two options up here, your account name at active and your account name at owner. Your account name at active is only able to change the active permission. Your account name at owner can change both the active and the owner permission. Thus, I am at owner, so I have my owner key attached. So both the active permission modify button and the owner permission modify button are both lit up so I can change those keys. So in order to change the keys, it's super simple. We'll just use the active permission here as an example. So I want to change my active permission or my active key. Click the modify button right next to active permission. And here is my current active public key. I want to change it to this public key, which has the corresponding private key here. So I'm going to copy this EOS public key, paste it in here. And then all I would do is hit update permission and after you hit update permission and you see that the transaction went through, this will be your new active key. 
Same thing can be done for owner key. You click the modify next to owner key. It pops up with your current owner public key. And after you generate a key, you just copy the public key you want to put in, paste it in there, or type it in there. Click update permission, and that will update your owner key. So one important thing to note here is either changing the active or the owner, this stage we're inputting the public key. You can see the current key in there starts with EOS, so that is the public key. So you will use the public key, which starts with EOS, that you generated here. You are not inputting your private key at this point. And after you update your keys, you will need to input the new private key into Graymass EOS Voter Wallet in order, in order to control the account. So here I am at owner key. So I have my owner key for this account attached. If I were to change this owner key right now, if I were to change this owner key to this one, so let's just say I copied this in, pasted it in, and hit update permission, I would then have to go back into Graymass EOS Voter Wallet because right now I have the at owner key for this owner public key attached right now if I change this I will no longer be able to control this account with the current key setup so then you'd have to go into manage wallets import account and I would take this private key that I just changed the owner to or active but in this case because this account is attached at owner I'm giving you the owner example so at owner is attached right now if I change that owner key import account I'll have to take my new private key paste it in here and import the account again so there you go guys everything you need to change your keys on gray mass wallet is in the tools section you have the key generator here under utilities where you can generate a new key and under the permissions tab is where you actually change the active and owner keys like I said previously at this stage you don't input your private key. When you modify it, you're inputting the new public key you have generated. So there you go, guys. I hope this helps some of you out there. Like I said in the beginning, I will be doing videos on how to change your keys with Scatter as well as Squirrel Wallet upcoming shortly. So if you are interested in those, make sure you are subscribed and you click on that notification bell. If you do have any questions, you can pop them down into the comments below. But that's how you change your keys using Gray Mass EOS Voter Wallet. And remember, save your old keys just in case there is a future chain that uses the previous date. You will need those old keys. And of course, if you do not control the private key, you lose control of the account. So make sure you save your keys after you generate them before updating your keys on the chain. So that's it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.